Well, hey, everybody. Thanks for being here tonight. Um, this is a night where we get a chance to pray a blessing of thanksgiving over our Fruits family, and in particular, Christy. And, um, I, but real quick, just to kind of get some housekeepers out of the way, um, if you guys are part of the same family group, sitting together is awesome. Otherwise, let's keep our three chairs so that we're being um, while we're here. And I know I don't have a mask on right now, but let's keep those on and over our noses while we're, we're singing and praying and worshiping tonight. You know, um, I'm here this, this tonight to just do a few reminders as we get kicked off that I've talked to James and also Christy about too. And um, there's some things that she wanted to make very clear that I want to pass along to you tonight as well. Um, first and foremost, she wants you to be pointed to Jesus. She doesn't want to be some kind of spectacle tonight. Certainly she wants to be prayed over and for her beautiful kids and mom and, and husband to be prayed over tonight. But she wants every bit of attention to Jesus this evening. And um, she's doing great sitting right here. I'm super impressed. But I will tell you all, if energy level gets tough, that there's a chance that Mama Fruits might need to kind of Boogie out of here, we're going to keep praying. It's going to be streamed, it's going to be recorded, and there's a chance for her to see it again. So I want to let you know that. And this is a time where we get to celebrate life together at a period of sunset that we don't often get to experience with our dear friends. And so as we worship, that's a little bit of an update on what's going on there. And, and there were some really clear things that got passed along today that I appreciated. And it's interesting, I promise I won't do a four-point sermon here, but they were really pointed Christy said this, seek God and trust him now. Say important and meaningful things to those you love now. Live life to the fullest now. Be in the moment. Don't look too far ahead or carry burdens from the past because this is the moment God is giving you right now. So as we, as we worship and pray tonight, um, would this be a time of celebration, a time where we get to enjoy God's presence, where intimately you can connect with God, with one another for the sake of our Fruits family? So with that, I'll leave it to the band. Would you guys stand and worship with us? Count on one thing The same God that never fails Will not fail me now You won't fail me now In the waiting The same God who's never late Is working all things out Working all things out Yes, I will Lowest valley, yes, I will bless your name. Oh, yes, I will sing for joy when my heart is heavy. God that never fails will not fail me now. You won't fail me now in the way. The same God who's never late is working all things out. You're working all things out. Yes, I will lift you high in the lowest valley. Heavy all my days. 
Psalm 62, 5 through 8. Find rest, O my soul, in God alone. My hope comes from him. Stink. He alone is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress. I will not be shaken. My salvation and my honor depend on God. He is my rock, my refuge. Let us pray. Lord, your word teaches us to use wisely all the time that we have on earth, that the generous man will be prosperous, and that he who waters will himself be watered. Christy has used her time, talents, and treasures to serve you well. She has shared the gospel with countless people. She has opened her home and her heart to love and serve others well. Even during her cancer journey, she has continued to minister to others and share the hope of heaven with those in her path. Lord, we know you laid the earth's foundation. You set the limits for the sea. You send the lightning bolts on their way. You count the clouds and you tip over the water jars of the heavens. The hawk takes flight by your wisdom and the eagle soars at your command and you hold each of us in the palm of your hand. Even when our worst fears come true in this earthly life, we have hope, compassion, and faithfulness from a God who does not lie to us. And if we truly believe in the things that are unseen, in things greater than what our fingers can touch and our eyes can see, then we hold fast that even in our worst moments, your promises are true. Lord, our hearts are heavy, yet we trust in your unfailing love. We know that none of this has taken you by surprise. You go before us and you hem us in on all sides, Lord. As Christy has said many times, you are good. You are good to us and you are good at being God. And so we look to you now, Lord, for peace for Christy and all of the fruits as they walk through the days ahead. We trust that you will be with each of us as we walk this journey on different paths. Lord, please comfort our hearts as we laugh and cry together, as we worship, as we share memories in the daytime, and as we are awakened in the night, Lord, help us to pray. Help us to look to you to comfort our hearts and bring us your peace that passes understanding. 
both now and in the days to come. Amen. Christy, you and I have often spoken about material things that we have in waiting, shoes in waiting, sunglasses in waiting. And my heart is grateful that in heaven you'll be my friend in waiting. I love you.
faithful promises time and time again you have proven you do just what you say though the storms may come and the winds may blow I'll remain steadfast and let my heart when you speak a word you will come to pass great is your faith Sun to the setting, same I will praise your name. Great is your faithfulness to me. To age, though the earth may pass away, your word remains the same. Your history can prove there's nothing you can do, you're faithful and true. Though the storms may come and the winds may blow, I'll remain steadfast and let my heart learn when you speak a word. You'll come. The setting said, I will praise your name. Great is your faithfulness to me. Your faithfulness it never runs out. No, it never.
Before we go any further, um, isn't this so youth-like? Like, those of you who aren't in the front can't see that the whole, the whole time we've been up here, there's been a Chipotle thing, just chilling. <laughs> and I had to grin, because we've had so many experiences like there. It's like, hey, Mike, did you see on the stage there's that thing? I don't know, did you notice this? Yeah. I knew you did. And so I'm sitting here thinking, not everybody knows, but me and Christy, we noticed. Y'all are like having a great time. I'm like, you see that Chipotle up there on stage? I love impact and CBC youth, man. There's no better way to say it than having Chipotle on the stage. So anyway, I'll leave it to you and I'll just set this down for a sec. Great is your faithfulness. 
Um, the Lord put Psalm 34 in my heart. I want to read parts of it to you. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul makes its boast in the Lord. Let the humble hear and be glad. Mm. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he answered me and he delivered me from my fears. Those who look to me are radiant and their faces shall never be ashamed. The poor man cried and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all of his troubles. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Amen. Blessed is the man who takes refuge in him. Oh, fear the Lord, you his saints, for those who fear him have no lack. The young lion suffers want and hunger, but those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. When the righteous cry for help, the Lord hears and delivers them out of all their troubles. The Lord is near to the brokenhearted and saves the crushed spirit. Let's pray. Lord, I thank you for this word. It is alive and it is active. It's a privilege to read. It is such comfort. And it does lead and guide like no other. And Father, I thank you from the very first verse that says, I will bless you at all times. Mm -hmm. That our praise would continually be in our mouths. And Lord, that's just my prayer. Yeah. Lord, you said all times. You didn't say sometimes. You said and in the good and in the hard. Lord, this is a hard time, but we're going to praise you because you are worthy. And we are going to praise you because you are the Lord of Lords and you are the King of Kings. You are the Prince of Priests. You are the great I Am. You are our Redeemer, our Father, our Papa, our Daddy. Lord, you are the perfect redeemer. You are Emmanuel, you are God with us. Lord, you are the Prince of Peace, the bread of life. You are a deliverer. Amen. You are the great I am, Lord. We praise you, you are worthy of praise. Lord, you also say in this verse, taste and see that the Lord is good. And blessed are those who take refuge in him. God, I just love that picture mm. of taking refuge. What a comfort. And I just pray tonight that, that we can praise you in the good and the bad. And Lord, that we could run to you, our refuge. Father, we've got a choice to make in these times. We can run to you or from you. And God, I pray we run to you. I don't know much. Lord, I don't have much wisdom, but I know in the depths of my bones that we have got to run to you. Father, it is our only hope. Lord, you are refuge, present help in our everless, in our trouble. We shall not fear. You are a fortress. You protect us and we can trust you. You are a dwelling place. We are safe and secure, and you provide comfort. Father, you are a strong tower. Yes. Nothing can prevail against you. Lord, you are a hiding place, a place where a loving Father is that intimately cares of all of our needs. And Lord, I thank you for the last verse, the, this psalm, that the Lord is near to the brokenhearted and saves the crushed in, the crushed in spirit. And God, I gotta, I gotta tell you, there's a lot of brokenhearted and crushed in spirit people, Lord, in this room. And you know, you know it all. And you are near. And I praise you for that. I thank you for that. Lord, may we always pray you praise you in all things. May we run to you and not from you. And may we take comfort that you save the crushed in spirit and the brokenhearted and that you're near to us.
you know, as this time of twilight has come upon <clears throat> Christy, um, one of these days I'll share more funny stories about that. But I want to just say thanks for being so courageous. And always, always, always reminding us to pray for students here and friends and family that aren't here. And as we prepared for this, God laid Ephesians 3 on my heart, particularly verses 14 to 21. It goes like this. For this reason I kneel before the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth derives its name. I pray that out of the glorious riches he might strengthen you with power in his spirit in your inner being so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. And I pray that you, being rooted and established in love, may have power together with all the Lord's holy people to grasp how wide and how long and how high and how deep is the love of Christ. And to know this love that surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled to the measure with all the fullness of God. And now to him who is immeasurably is able to do immeasurably more than we ask or imagine according to his power that is at work within us. To him be the glory in the church in Jesus Christ throughout all generations forever and ever. And you know, in, in moments like these, um, Max and Malachi, Miley, James, when you can't feel like you can carry on in this and we celebrate this great lady that's in our midst, he can do immeasurably more. He can get you through it. And all of us, right? Because we know that we have been blessed by a life well lived. And I have a, a, dear, a friend of mine who once said, <clears throat> never read books from guys that are alive. You never know how others finished, uh, how they finished. And Christy, you, you're finishing very well. Thanks. Let's pray. Lord, it is true that we kneel before you, Heavenly Father, from every family here, our Fruits family, this family here at CBC and friends gather praying that out of your glorious riches, Lord, that these, our friends here would be strengthened by the power of your Holy Spirit and their being God, and that you will dwell in their hearts through faith. I know that Christie's heart cry for years and years and years we've known her and her heart cry is, come to Jesus, come to Jesus. And Lord, I pray that in that, our friends would be encouraged to grow and be rooted and established in your love and your power. Together as a family, grasping even so slightly the magnitude of the width and the length and the height and the depth of your love, God. Lord, I pray that everyone would understand a love that surpasses knowledge and that the fullness of you to full measure will be bestowed upon, bestowed upon everyone in this room and this amazing family that we're just so grateful for. So God, there's so much to say. Thank you for the time that we have had. In Jesus' name, amen. So when you came in, did everybody get one of these cards on the way in? Did you see Lisa on the way in? I'm going to give you a, 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 few, a few instructions. And uh, I want to create an opportunity for you. We all did. Wanted to create an opportunity for you to communicate with our Fruits family a little bit. So for you to write a little bit to Mama Fruits and Jay Dizzle and Malachi and Miley and Max. So you had a pen and a note card. Joe's gonna and, and Emma are gonna do a few songs here with just guitar and, and, and acapella. And um, <clears throat> I'll tell you this, um, it doesn't have to be eloquent. It doesn't have to be perfect. But I know a lot of times it's good to have something to say. And in, in today's day and age with COVID, we'd love to be able to have each one of you say something special to Christy right now and the Fruits family right now, but we can't um, in person. Can't, can't hug. Um, the exit will be hard, but in a lot of sense, but we can, we can have this. So here's what I encourage you to do with this. 
do this. Write down maybe what each one of them means to you. What warms your heart about the fruits, about each one of our fruits, friends? Maybe affirm something specific that they, they've done that means something to you. Um, be you, how you write. If you draw, draw. Um, what, whatever it is, however you, you process in writing, do that. Um, you know me, I'm a pretty practical guy, so I'm going to go to some don'ts. Don't make this about you. Make this about them. That will really bless them. So when you finish up on, on the way out, there's, there's plenty of hand sanitizer, so please use that on the way out too. But if you could just drop these there, we'll make sure it gets into the fruit's hands. I don't know how much energy Christy has tonight, whether she'll be with us at the very end of our time together or not, but rest assured, we will make sure that these get into her hands and they will be blessed by that. So let's worship by just sharing some of our thoughts with them.
I'll sing through the shadows my song of a sin. Whatever I walk through, wherever I am, your name can move mountains wherever I stand. And if ever I walk through the valley of death, I'll sing through the shadows my song of a sin. My song of a sin. Oh. From the gravest of all valleys Come the pastures we call grace A mighty river flowing upwards From a deep but empty grave So I will praise you on the mountain I will praise you in the mountains in my way. You're the summit where my feet are. I will praise you in the valleys all the same. No less God within the shadows. No less faithful when the night leads me astray. You're Love you, Christy. Just want to say, if you are here tonight or you are watching this online, and you haven't known this God that Christy and James and the Fruit family are serving, I beseech you by the mercies of God to find that God. Because it's only that God that can give you peace in the midst of sorrow. It's only that God that can give you peace when everything looks like it's failing. So if you don't know that God, please, seek that God. I love you, Christy. I'm going to read from Psalm 103. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. And all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgives you all your iniquity and heals all your diseases? Who redeems your life from the pit? who crowns you with steadfast love and mercy, Amen. who satisfies you with good so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord walk righteousness and justice for all who are oppressed. He made known his ways to Moses, his act to the people of Israel the Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. He will not always chide, nor will, nor will he keep his anger forever. He does not deal with us according to our sins, nor repay us according to our iniquities. For as, I, I, for as I as the heavens are above the earth, so high, uh, sorry, <laughs> for as I as the heavens are above the earth, so great is his steadfast love to those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far does he remove our transgressions from us. 
as a father shows compassion to his children, so the Lord shows compassion to those who fear him. For he knows our frame. He remembers that we are dust. As for man, his days are like grass. It flourishes like a flower of the field. For the wind passes over it, and it is gone. And its place knows it no more. But the steadfast love of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting Amen. on those who fear him. Amen. And his righteousness to children's children, to those who keep his covenant and remember to do his commandments. The Lord has established his throne in the heavens and his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, all you his angels, you mighty ones who do his word, obeying the voice of his word. Bless the Lord, all his hosts, his ministers, who do his will. Bless the Lord, all his works, in all places of its dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Amen. Let us bless the Lord together. Oh, precious Father, we have gathered together tonight to give glory, to give praise unto you. Even in the midst of these difficulties, Lord, we come to worship you. For you alone are God. There is no one like you. You are our Father, and you knew us from before we were born. And every part of our life is not hidden. None is hidden from you. None caught you by surprise. You said no single hair in our head will fall to the ground without your knowledge. Such is the knowledge that you have of us. And Lord, we have come with the fruits family tonight, O oh God, to give glory, to give praise, to give honor that is due unto you. For you are God, our Lord, our master, our maker, our creator. And we thank you, Father God, for this journey. It's been difficult for the fruit family, Lord. It's been difficult for Christy. But we come before you tonight to sing praises unto you, Father God. Because you are the God who inhabit the praises of his own people. So we join with the fruit family to worship the God that they know. The living God, the mighty God, the great God, the great I am, the one that was, that is, that remained the same forever and ever. Mm -hmm. Lord, we join with the host of heavens. Lord, we join with the, with, with the elders in the heavens. Who we'll bow down day and night, declaring you are holy, you are worthy. And there is no one like you. That's what you want us to do, Lord. That is the offering that Christy has come to offer to you. That is the offering that James has come to offer to you tonight. Lord, the same offering that Malachi, Miley, Max, the family, the friends, the youth group, the CVC people have come to offer for you tonight, oh God. And even in the midst of our praise, of our thanksgiving tonight. We still trust you. We continue to hope and trust in you, oh God. That in the midst of this, we will say, even like Habakkuk would declare, that even the fig tree might not blossom, I will rejoice in the Lord my God. But we pray as well and we ask, oh God, for you are God of miracle. You are God who was able to set Paul and Silas free, even as we are worshiping you. Mm -hmm. 
You are God who was with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in that fire that the unbelieving king can declare that we put three people in the fire and there are four. And the resemblance of the fourth one is like the son of God. We thank you for how you've been with the Foot family. We pray, Father, that we continue to experience your presence. Mm -hmm. They will continue to experience your love and your care, O oh God. They will continue to experience, Father, the joy that comes from knowing you, even in the midst of this difficult time. Father, we pray that the God of hope will renew hope, will renew strength, joy, and peace unto them, Father. The Lord who is able to do abundantly beyond what we can think or we ask for right now, they are God, our God. Do we lift them up, Father, mm -hmm. into your presence, mm -hmm. that you will keep them, mm -hmm. that you will uphold them, mm -hmm. that you will comfort, that you will heal, mm -hmm. that you will make whole, mm -hmm. that you will be there with them, Father God, mm -hmm. every single step of the way. Yes. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for you are faithful. Yes. We bless you, Father. And we join the host of heaven to worship you tonight mm -hmm. and to give glory and praise unto you mm -hmm. with the Foots family. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Would you stand with us? We're going to bless the Lord through worship with just a few more songs.
Amen. just a second and um, so we're gonna do one final song and I'll close this in prayer and um, I know it's it's gonna be hard that um, we all probably want to spend time with the fruits um, but we're just gonna ask that um, that you let that card be the way that you communicate with him um, just for safety COVID um, we want to that's a great great way 
to love them tonight is to not bum rush them CBC youth style. Um, I want to thank you guys on behalf of our family um, for being here. Um, I think this is a beautiful picture of what the body of Christ is supposed to be about. Um, is this is what we do and getting to do it together and worship the Lord together is a beautiful, wonderful opportunity. And so um, let's close our time together with one final song. Oh
Amen. Dar, can you play just for a second? Yeah. I'm not going to talk very long, nor do a uh, four-point sermon like Mike mentioned. But uh, I'm teaching this weekend at a winter retreat for another church. And the message I'm teaching is one that I taught several years ago at Frontlines. And it was, it was too long. But it was on the life of Hezekiah. And the title of it was A Serious Coming. And Hezekiah had done everything right. <laughs> he was one of the good kings. Hezekiah did everything right. It was kind of like Job. Job who was upright and blameless. And yet Assyria still comes knocking on his door. And sometimes Assyria comes. And for all of you students in the room, I want you to know, and I don't mean to be the voice of doom and gloom, Assyria is coming. The pain and the struggle and the sickness, it's coming. And my hope is that you will think back to this season. Because I tell you what, we can preach all the sermons and sing all the songs, but a life lived to the glory of God is a darn good sermon. I've never in my life, never in my life, really seen to this level what the Bible tells us to really do when we face trials of many kinds. I've seen some people tiptoe there. I want you guys to know you, got, you have difficult days ahead of you. The sermon that you've written with your family by being obedient to Jesus in the darkest days will be a legacy that will spread from this room for generations to the glory of God alone. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Lord, the, the world knows nothing of this kind of hope. Somebody were walking here off the street. This is foolishness. But oh, how you have transformed the way that we look at this fleeting life. Because the best is yet to come. Oh, what, what hope we have. What hope we have in Jesus. The risen Christ as the first fruits, the example of what we can expect. And the world around us knows nothing of this joy in the midst of pain. And so, God, We do not lose heart. Though outwardly we are wasting away, inwardly we are being renewed day by day as we look not to the things that are seen, but to the things that are unseen. For the things that are seen are temporary but the things that are unseen are eternal. Would you cause the life of Christy Fruits and the testimony of her family and the testimony of CVC youth to shine like a beacon of light, like a city on a hill, 
that thousands and thousands of people would bring their brokenness to Jesus and find new life. Find this hope that we've sung of and worshiped you for this evening. Oh, and the stories will tell for all eternity of you answering that prayer and your grace to us. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Amen. We love you guys, and we love you guys. Um, James, would you guys prefer to go first? Is that easiest? You want to hang? Okay. If you guys, um, you can just kind of wait. We need to exit again in a way that is safe. So wave and blow kisses, and uh, we'll see you guys soon. Love you guys.